welcome to the French Drain Man channel where we're here to educate the homeowner. All the different contractors that come in with different yard, yard water systems to help with your drainage issues. We're going to hopefully clear some of that up today in this video right here. So I know that I'm always talking about the inlet basins, but let's, let's provide you with some visuals. So most of what I see is a four inch inlet and a six inch inlet. But so let's give them the benefit of the doubt. This is a 12 by 12. Notice how it leaves all the water in the bottom of, your, of the French drain system or yard drainage system. Nobody ever wants to talk about this. So I gotta be the whistleblower. I gotta expose them for what they are. Not only, when the water's running in here, leaves and debris, once they go in that, this is directly tied to the pipe. So those leaves float and fill this pipe. It breaks down and becomes topsoil, organic material. They love getting you on a maintenance program. After a career putting drainage systems in, that's great. That's a cash grab to run around in a van and provide a service of cleaning out these systems that if they would have built them right in the first place, wouldn't need no maintenance, they'd last forever. Now we take the stone and we bring it right to the top. The entire system is an inlet. It don't get any better than that. All the water's coming down and goes right into our French drain system. Now, again, our system is stone all the way to the bottom. So we're gonna drain our system all the way to the bottom. You're not getting that with these basins. And then it's choking it down to a four inch pipe, which I don't like. I build a lot of really long runs, systems where you're taking on your water, your neighbor's water. You might be you know, handling water, three, four lots of water. You're choking it down to a four inch pipe. The stone moves as much water as the pipe. So this is a failed experiment. I mean, the jury is in. I've been trying to get the message across, but I think it really helps to see it like this. I really do. I hope this helps. You know, here's a nine by nine. And, and these are the same guys telling you they're going 24 inches deep. Look at that. Look how that nine by nine sits, how low it sits in here. And you're, and you're not gonna get all the water. You're not going to the bottom of the, of the trench. You actually dam your system. It's no different than just having a, a dirt dam. Same thing. Okay, so now here's the six inch. Nobody wants to talk about this, these guys. This is only eight inches tall. But they're gonna tell you that we're gonna go 24 inches deep. Well, that's kinda hard to do with an eight inch tall basin. So again, I'm just providing you with some visuals so that we could you know, start a discussion about this. And I wanna educate the homeowners. We wanna go about this intelligently. We're not gonna defy the law of physics and gravity and all the things that we gotta deal with here. So now this is my favorite one of all. This one just kills me. Okay, so these guys are telling the homeowners, I was on several appointments this week, we're gonna go two feet deep. Okay, then how are we gonna do this? Uh, where are we taking it? We're going two feet deep and we're taking it to a pop-up at the storm drain catch basin. Really? You don't say. Okay, so the pipe's way up here. One, they're not going two feet deep, but let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Let's say they are. Once it fills up, your yard is saturated. Once it makes it to this pipe, it's completely soggy. This is gonna do you no good. You might move some surface water, but you're basically gonna have a bathtub across the back of your lot. So this pop-up, this is the one thing that, when they say we're gonna take it to a pop-up to the storm drain, busted. You know that they don't know what they're doing. Get them off your property, throw them off your property, get them out of there before they screw up your money and mess up your project. And then I love the PVC conversations. Nothing's, nothing's more durable in the frost than this pipe, okay? And I'm gonna explain why. This pipe can move as the ground moves in the frost. It's not gonna crack like a hard PVC pipe. So I really like it. Now when we do the PVC, we always use Schedule 40, 
but it would be kind of ridiculous to build the yard drainage system on a schedule 40 this here does the exact same thing and we're allowed to put eight inlets per valley a schedule 40 pipe usually has a hole or two at the bottom this has eight eight holes in every valley all the way around the yellow means it's virgin material that's another thing i i don't talk about it but i am now the reason why i don't use the black pipe that's saw cut the saw cuts weaken it and when it's the recycled material it loses some strength so i don't i like the solid pipe for downspouts i'm okay with that i don't have no problems with it but where you have eight saw cuts i do have a problem with it, it you you need a good virgin material that's super, super strong. That's not gonna rip or tear. I like this material a lot. Again, virgin pipe can move in the frost. I've never, ever seen any failure in this. I wanted to also talk about the downspouts. All right, so pop-ups cost a few bucks, and I guess the guys don't even wanna give you your money's worth. And they're charging more than we do, so it's, it's, it's ridiculous. Here's a four inch NDS cap. And you can see by the way it's shaped, it's built for an inlet, not an outlet. You see how it has the angled, like you could put this in a patio or concrete, and I'm fine with that. That's what it's meant for. But this is not an outlet, great. Wanted to point that out. And they took a cheap 90, and just put some screws in it so you can't get the leaves out. Like our pop-ups, our pop-ups let the uh, leaves out. And when the leaves are breaking down, this is what it looks like. So when there's a real hard rain, your gutters are backing up. Here's another one. So I'm just trying to educate the homeowner and I wanna make sure that the DIY guy, I really feel sorry for the DIY guys. The DIY guys that are going out and they're spending money on materials and they work every weekend for a month or whatever it takes to get their yard drain done. And then they followed the blueprint of a system that fails. If you're looking for a French drain system in North Oakland County or North Macomb County, Michigan, give us a call. If you're looking to learn more about yard drainage, subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please give us a thumbs up.